I'd like to review uh, an effective way of putting beads on hooks. I have a hook and hackle plier right here. I'll put the hook in the hackle plier. And then I'll just rotate my beads. Uh, I want the, the small hole up and I will put the bodkin through the small hole grasp the bead between thumb and forefinger and then put the hook through the small hole and thread it on the hook and I can if I wish I can rig several hooks with beads in advance so I'm ready to go okay I'm gonna move on now and do some other tying tips alright we have our bead mounted already I'm going to attach wire to this hook. Uh, I'm going to grasp it with my hackle plier. And I'm going to put that up fairly tight. And I'm going to wrap on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to hold this with my index finger, hold that wire and wiggle it right off of there rather than uh, cutting it. Of course I break very cleanly. The back part of the wire I can take my bobbin and just, or my fingernail, and just finish it, round it around. Okay, got our bead up here. We have our wire. We're going to push the wire up into the slot in the bead. And remember the rounded side of the slot is up so I'm going to double check yep my bead is very nicely I'm going to straighten out my hook here my bead is nicely seated on the eye of the hook now this wire is going to help hold that bead in place now you will note we often start our fly by attaching our thread right at the beginning. We do not do that here. If you put your thread on first, it would make it more difficult to slide the wire up into the bead. So we put our, uh, put our thread on after we have our wire seated. Now sometimes you will find it necessary, depending on the size of the bead and the wire, you may find it necessary to pinch the wire a little bit, not too hard, and, and what it winds up making it a little bit narrower so it will work up into the slot properly. I didn't need to here, but you may. Um, so here we go. We have our bead on. Now I'm going to spend a little bit of time here, a little bit of time smoothing out that transition from the wire to the bare hook. I'm going to bring my fly back about where the barb would be. We don't want our body to go too far back. On this style fly, you don't want your tail to be curved down. So it's important to find a very consistent place. And I've ended my thread where the bend begins. Okay, we're going to conclude this video. We're going to do another video starting from this point on.